The Australian Centre for the Moving Image at Melbourne International Games Week. And joining me on the show, uh, Mark Bernardo. It's so nice. It's so nice to have actual clapping. I know, <laughs> isn't it great? Yeah. It's less sad, I felt like yeah. I started the clapping and now it's all it's like giving birth room. and it's real. It's great. Uh, also with us, Naomi Higgins. And Ben Russell. My name is Ben Russell. <laughs> <laughs> did you do this? <laughs> you did do this. <laughs> you <It's> absolute <laughs> fuck. What's great is that they didn't film the, the warm up, so it I just know. looks like you're talking to a wall. Save <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bloody stitched me up. <laughs> Uh, and this week we'll, uh, we'll also be joined by uh, Dave Callan, Kate Dennett, and Xavier Michaelides. Boo! <laughs> it's also our 50th episode, which is pretty Woo! exciting. <laughs> I'm not used to getting a round of applause uh, after every sentence. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and also, it's uh, this is a Halloween episode, but Ooh. I figured we shouldn't really. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't spook it up. But I thought if we I spooked it up, down. it'd be too much, too many layers, too much going on. Too much spookiness. You don't want too much going on no. on this show. Freak people out. There's um, enough. There's enough. There's enough happening. Uh, there is enough happening. Uh, we'll uh, also be taking a look at some of the, uh, the goings on around Melbourne International Games Week and PAX, which is happening right now as we speak. Yeah, right. I think, I think the main floor's closed for the moment. Is it really? <laughs> I mean, it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> it's open till like. Isn't that open till like? No, it closes no, about now. Six p.m. Yeah. 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 Well, it's okay. It's the. It's in the atmosphere. You know it's what is going on right? The Melbourne International Games Week is still happening right now because this is part of it. This is it's part exciting. Of it. uh, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. It's, it's, the great thing is it's not getting old either. <laughs> I really like it. I actually think it's getting funnier. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, we'll also be doing a bit of a wrap up of the uh, year in gaming and also looking ahead at some of the major releases due before the end of the year. Uh, before we get to all that, what do you think of this? Uh, now, this is this is this is so. You might have seen this this week. Soul Calibur. This new Soul Calibur came out, uh, and there is a new uh, feature. Well, it's actually not a new feature, but it lets you. We're off to a good start. It, so Evan, can you, for your first live performance, you are doing yeah. amazing. Evan, just before you start, can you tell us the difference? What the difference of the Oculus <laughs> Oculus Rifts are? Because I'm a bit. I could. Confused, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have time. Uh, <laughs> I love that there's an extra... What? There's an extra mug. There's too many mugs. That's For crazy. The that is spooky. That's the Halloween <laughs> thing. Ooh. That's the Halloween element. Okay, so, Soul Calibur. You've played Soul Calibur? Any of you played Soul Calibur before? No. no. It's a f okay. Don't know what it is. What is it? It's fighty? Is it a fighty game? It's a yeah, fighty, it's fighty game. game. Yep. Um, and it has a feature which lets you customise your characters. So you can create your own custom characters. 
and someone, well, the people have worked out that you can create quite um, sexual characters. Hmm, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> internet made something weird with sex. Yeah. This guy, I think his name is Nordine, um, created this sort of reptilian character with just this massive dick. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! That's... I heard that with, when the internet was created, within the first three minutes, there was footage of someone fucking a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Uploaded onto the someone internet. Someone was like, a series of interconnecting tubes. I've got something for this. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a rumour I heard. Not something that you did. <laughs> yeah, they're very different things, Ben. Were you the horse? What? It's going to go over a lot of people's heads. Uh, anyway, big dick thing. What's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so basically what people are doing is you can you can sort of create objects and stuff uh, for your character and so this is done with like an apple a cylinder and a heart object and they're able to sort of fashion them into yeah. just a massive dick. which I believe <laughs> if you read Genesis that's how <laughs> that's how God created the first dick <laughs> um, just joking God doesn't exist does that offend you <laughs> Oh, that, was um, to be. that was supposed to be Ricky Gervais. Oh, really? oh, I'm an atheist. Does that offend you? <laughs> Please continue with the big dick lizard. <laughs> um, you can, it's, so, it's so funny when you realise you hate someone. Like, why? <laughs> In front of so a bunch weird. of people. It's so weird. Yeah, welcome Keep to going. Christmas at the Russells. <laughs> I'm just um, joking, I don't have any family. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Oh my um, god. <laughs> yeah, people have also been able to create like, there's like a Ronald McDonald character and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the dick thing? <laughs> I'm glad you there's, asked. There's, um, well, <laughs> why do you think people do this? Because... Because dicks are... Because <laughs> it's funny? Is that what? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Dicks are funny. Do you think it's, it's um, a legitimate way to just throw, throw off your opponent? <laughs> <laughs> to get your dick out, yes. <laughs> I believe that is a... Uh, Works every time. Krav Maga move. <laughs> yeah. Ask Dave Callan. Okay. He's a ninja. He'll be here. he gets his dick out. That's what it's at. No, he doesn't. He's just... He he's does. a ninja. Let's end him. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Callan's cancelled. There's a um, slightly more serious side to this story. <laughs> it can't be. Uh, <laughs> which is that these um, that you can play, you can create customized characters, and then you can actually play them in ranked matches. So um, people have been sort of gaming the system and creating like there's this character that's just a giant rainbow cube, and then there's another one here. We've got a picture here, which is like picture a skeleton, sort of just enveloped by a massive apple. <laughs> but the apple doesn't. I don't think the apple takes hit damage. So you got to hit the skeleton, but it's just a massive it's apple. Like, oh, it's like the character's like inside the apple. Kind of, shit. yeah. So it looks like a tomato. It so it's me. legitimately difficult to see if you're actually able to like make contact with, mm. with your opponent. I really don't know what their moves would be either, if it's just a skeleton holding an apple. <laughs> well, for me, it would be fucking up my guts. <laughs> fructose. fructose. <laughs> wow. So, can you create a fructose intolerant character that's suffering from IBS? I think. <laughs> I think if that's, you can, I'm not going anywhere near that fucking apple. I think that's actually in the uh, Soul Calibur mythos. <laughs> All the characters are fructose intolerant and shit themselves. I love representation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's, let's, let's crack on now to, uh, to fill us in with more of the week's news. We're going to welcome to the desk, Xavier Michaelides. <laughs> Man is not supposed to do that. <laughs> I was with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> news! News! Uh, news! Alright, so, gamey, 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 gamey,
Uh, <laughs> Nint- <laughs> <laughs> Look, I-, I said at the beginning, no coughing, okay? <laughs> Fucking Maybe you just I I told a woman not to cough. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying we're all thinking. All right? Stop coughing, everyone. Where's my camera? Yeah, stop coughing. Stop coughing, roll. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Nintendo's is back. Thank <gasps> God. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Switch. Uh, it's going to be a battle royale. Oh. <laughs> yep. They're going to drop 20 dogs onto an island and they just tear each other apart. In real life. In real life. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the game. <laughs> it's just Nintendo setting this up. <laughs> and they're going to film it, and I'm watching. Um, yeah. My money is on uh, the French Bulldog. Mm. <laughs> um, Evan Simulator is due for release next year. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you get to simulate your own Evan Munro Smith. That's right. Yeah. yeah, you can control your Evan. He picks shirts and explains how games work. <laughs> Until no one cares anymore and they want to kill themselves. Um, there's also a DLC where Evan goes to a party <laughs> and, then and, and he asks, hey, what's the cake? <laughs> he straight up does that at parties. Like, first question, hey, what's the cake? <laughs> Fucking just, how about hello, happy birthday? Like, fuck me. What else is news? Uh, um, there's a new um, AFL game coming out. Like, oh, yeah. um, if anyone played AFL, the last one, the last AFL game, there's a new one coming out. No. Uh, this one's going to be based on the brown low. <laughs> oh, yeah. It <laughs> sounds like it could be fun. Just yeah, it's fashion? fun. What? Is it fashion? It's like fashion. It's like, don't get too drunk. <laughs> don't fuck things up. You know, do a little bit of cocaine, but don't do that on TV. You know, like, just keep it cool, man. And then... <laughs> All you Lady and the Tramp fans out there, who loves Lady and the Tramp? Yeah, they're going to make Disney's the making Disney a game film? based on Lady and the Tramp. Wow. Yes, yep. And for all Lady and Tramp super fans, don't worry, the devs say they're going to keep it racist. So don't worry, all right? <laughs> don't worry. They'll keep it racist. Was that film racist? Yeah, very fucking racist. Uh, against dogs or what? Yeah, against dogs. <laughs> Dogs don't feel racism. <laughs> They're colour blind. And that was the news. <laughs> Should we count it? to three? And, I, and I, how does it work this way? I'll leave, then count to three. I reckon just go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You've done enough. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier. Thanks. Now, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we are here as part of Melbourne International Games Week, and both PAX Australia and the EV Games Expo are going on uh, down the road as we speak. Although I mentioned that earlier, and you're saying that, that maybe they've finished. I'm, I'm just saying it's. I'm just saying it's probably closed up. Anyway, look. It's, it's on till late at school. It's on till. See, I thought so. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, and joining us to talk all about it is Kate Dennis. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Hi, Ben. It's great to see you again. Thank you. You too. We saw each other at PAX. We did. Yeah. Yes. Behind the stage, behind. In the, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> what scene? Bye. That's all I got. <laughs> Welcome, Kate. Thank you. It's um, PAX is huge. <laughs> PAX is huge. Can we? Can we? Can we just have like? for my whole segment, just edit just different shots of people clapping. <laughs> and I just wave, and then that's it. And that's it. <laughs> Bex on it already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we literally don't know <laughs> what she's going to do next. <laughs> Um, what did you get to uh, get up to at PAX? Um, okay, what are you doing now? I'm kicking over drinks. Okay. Um, I <laughs> I got to PAX a little bit too late yesterday, uh-huh. um, and I got told off 
as soon as I got there. Who I, told you what, what? I went to pick up my pass and the lady who I pick up the pass from was like, you need to be more confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're called enforcers for a reason. <laughs> and I was just like, um, uh, um, sorry, what? <laughs> She's like, like, everyone just comes up here and they're like, I'm speaking, I'm on a panel, give me my pass. And I was like, that sounds kind of rude. <laughs> and she was like, well, like, I was just, just like, what are the rules here? <laughs> Hey, you're making all women look bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so then I got in there and then I got told off again because I was then in an area where it was like, we're closing, can you please just get out? And I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh, so this close. was like at the end, very end of the day? It was, like they had just decided to shut the first section of it. Yeah, right. So I just quickly looked around because I was like, oh no, I need to talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and just, I got my eyeballs on as many things as I could. <laughs> like, Great. Very overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I don't, I walked through like three different fart clouds and then... <laughs> so you had a true PAX experience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I got to the section where um, you can play games and then I saw comedians and was like, <laughs> just left the building. Um, and then, yeah, so I just started following oh, yeah. you guys around because I was like, well, I don't, I feel very nervous here. <laughs> I've been told off twice in five minutes. <laughs> and then... And then we got told off backstage by a, told by off a bald man in a kilt. <laughs> oh, I know him. I saw him today. Yeah. Oh. That's he it, just, that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> he stopped all that, because we were doing a stand-up show, and he stopped everyone and told us how to walk on to stage. He was like, we are already on stage. <laughs> Effectively. We yeah. have to walk on a flat surface. <laughs> if I, you have to tell someone how to do this, it's already too late. I know. <laughs> yeah, there was a curtain incident as well, because I was like, I want to see how many people are in this thing. And then, so I like, sort of did that duck down to give everyone the indication I'm being careful. <laughs> sticking my head, but I didn't stick my head out around the corner and then I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this without my head being visible, so I'm just going to bail from this. And as I was walking back, Kilt Man came at me and was like, actually, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing it. And he's like, yeah, but just don't, so. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not, I'm not. And he's like, good, I'm like, yeah, great. And then I just was like, I, I gotta, I'm hungry, I gotta leave. <laughs> and then I went out <laughs> through a door, which I thought would be the exit, uh, but it was a stairwell. And I was like, well, it has the exit sign. So I walked up it for a bit and I was like, I've gone up like <laughs> 10, 10 floors and I've not seen another door. And it was just endless stairs. <laughs> and, my, and then I saw an, an exit. I was like, oh, thank God. And I walked out and it was like, it, I was in the roof, like... <laughs> you I don't even know in, where this would be. You know in the, the theatre, when the lighting techs are up there doing... Oh, like the I was box. there, so I was, looking, <laughs> I was like, well, all my friends are down there. And then I went back in and went another way, and then I was in, like, the bowels of the building for a while. And, like, you could hear water pipes. And, like, I was where they store stuff because they don't have enough storage. And then the occasional chef would just walk past. <laughs> and I'm, like, trying to make... I, I just... I don't know how to leave. <laughs> um, but I also... I used to, <laughs> the occasional chef. <laughs> but they were in the hat and they were, yeah, like... Yeah. And they were, like, they had their phones up clearly on break. So, uh, <laughs> I thought that there's just a confused person walking around there just like... No, just a lady with no official documentation just like, help me! Just, they're so used to it. Yeah. <laughs> there's um, another one. This is like 15 minutes later and I was like, I've got no phone reception. This is where I die. <laughs> I found a big door and I exited and I was like, I hate packs, I'm so confused! <laughs> Right. Everyone else seemed to be really happy. <laughs> it sounds like you might have missed some of the highlights. I think I did. <laughs> yeah. Mark, what have been some of the highlights for you at PAX this year? Um, I, uh, there was one thing I wanted to have a look at, which was I wanted to play, uh, I wanted to try Diablo 3 on Switch. I was very excited. Oh, yeah. And I was the person that they cut the fucking line off. <laughs> he was literally, literally, he was just kidding. I want to do it, you want your own? Yeah, great. No! <laughs> he just put his arm in front of me. And I was in that line for an hour. 
So, <laughs> oh really? Oh. Yes. A lot of it is queuing, right? Yeah. A lot of it is queuing. Uh, it's not. It's not too bad here. We're lucky here. It's not like the one I, I've been to. Packs in Boston, oh, yeah. and that is an overwhelming experience. Is it like Disneyland? I was at Disneyland, and that was my first experience of like really full on queues. Yeah, yeah. We wait I like think ninety um, minutes plus for a, a ride that's like five minutes. <laughs> just, just like the similarities start and end with the queuing with Disneyland, <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland and Pax. No, no, Disneyland is a beautiful place. <laughs> like, <laughs> Said, is it like the happiest place on earth? Okay. <laughs> it smells a lot better. <laughs> Sexpo has more in common with Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> because Sexpo has a dick ride that you can go in. <laughs> I've been is on that, that ride. I know, me too. And I, I'm like, I was yeah. there. <laughs> it's like, it's comparable. You go to in. <laughs> you go in and you're a sperm. <laughs> but I, I went there with two of my friends. So we were... We were in a threesome at Sexpo. <laughs> um, and I had to sit next to the stranger <laughs> on the dick ride. It was just like I'd never tried to make myself not touch anyone else. <laughs> you can actually make your own dick ride. All you need is an apple, a cylinder, <laughs> and a heart. Woo! <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Oh dear. Xavier. <laughs> um, has your packs been, Naomi? Really good. Um, I played Luigi's Mansion and. Um, <laughs> woo! I'm <laughs> game. Fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, and then the man um, who was taking care of that section just stood behind me and kept telling me um, where to go because I kept getting lost in the tutorial. <laughs> oh, I'm nice. a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> was he wearing a chef's hat? What about you, man? What did you go to at Pax? I had a chicken burger. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I, had I, had I had a chicken wrap. You had a chicken wrap? Yeah. That's fucking, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I got told off. Um, <laughs> and then I did a, I did a, a gig there, and then I'm gonna go back tomorrow. Yeah. So I haven't, I've been to to. busy uh, working, and by working I mean playing cowboy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that, I think the biggest mistake Pax did is to put this on the same weekend as the RDR2 release because I'm, you could feel it in the crowd. None of the ner- <laughs> <laughs> you could feel everyone was just like. I just want to play fucking Were there even boards. spots to play Red Dead there? No, there wasn't. So people were like, I gotta it's get like a real home. missed opportunity. Maybe it's downloaded by now, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck Cowboys! Um, I went Cowboys to a... is so good. <laughs> it's so fucking He's calling good. it Cowboys now. Yeah, everyone yeah. gets it. Everyone knows Cowboys. Red Dead Redemption 2 is too long. I'm a businessman. <laughs> don't have time for that. See um, these. Cowboys. <laughs> that really saved time. <laughs> Especially since I've explained it. Yeah. Um, I went That's to an the art- joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I went to uh, a non PAX Games Week event on Thursday. <laughs> Thank you. You are the bravest man I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Um, it's called Parallels, uh, and it was like a, a showcase of sort of alternative experimental games. Mm. Um, and so that was a lot of fun. They had like uh, they had 11 games that they were showcasing, and they had all the developers there to come and just talk about them for seven or eight minutes each. Explain one of them. Uh, t- t- talk about that one about the man who wanted yeah, so to make games not fun or. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this easy. guy, the, 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 the first one was a game called Rise and the developer was there and he was hit saying he wanted to make games that weren't fun and you can't win. Uh, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> games have had it too good for too long! Uh, did he work for EA? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm not afraid to throw, throw some salt. <laughs> Take that, EA. Yeah. It's going to really hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's coming for you. Um, yeah, so it's, it's this game called Rise. This guy, the developer, has a um, chronic spinal pain, right? So his basic idea was to take, like, controller combinations, like quick time events, like, you, get, you know, where it's basically telling you to press this button and move this joystick or whatever, and um, turn that into sort of like a hostile thing to the player. 
So the, the game's called Rise, and it's, it's a, a short little game that just sort of takes you through getting ready for going out and leaving the house. So you sort of check your phone, and it's got a to-do list of things like take a shower and uh, do, you know, put on your shoes and that sort of thing. Um, and each of those tasks is a, a, essentially like a quick time event that forces you to mash buttons in a certain way, in, in a way that's like deliberately supposed to be frustrating and difficult to sort of convey how life is like for people who have to deal with chronic pain. It was really interesting. I really, he got the idea from, I think, <laughs> I just got real sad. <laughs> It's I'm a real lull in the show. I'm sorry I told you to say that. I thought it was interesting when we you know, told me about it in the car. It was interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is, I was I like, that's it's interesting. It's interesting, but it's not but funny. Then in practice, <laughs> I mean, you could just say, like, quick time events, and then you're like, that's painful enough. <laughs> you're making something that's already painful more painful. Yeah, yeah. Quick time events. <laughs> I love um, them. You got nothing. I can't. I, can't I think. Say the, I think the. La- <laughs> I think the last. The last sort of hurdle of the game is you have to. I think you have to press every single button on the controller and like move both joysticks. It's not an easy thing to achieve. The guy when he demonstrated it on stage got his nose into it, which is fun. You ever get you your nose? That'll be easy for me. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> Can we get a can we get a side on shot of this? Well, you don't know it neither. You don't have a lens long enough. (laughs) Someone's been fibbing. (laughs) Pinocchio, I'm so sorry. Um, There's another game. uh, I think it was called Unpacked, and it was just a game about um, just unpacking things when you move. It was was a pretty cute little game. Love that shit. I don't know if that's my kind of game. (laughs) What's your kind of game? Cowboys, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, I'm going to find out tonight. Kate, thanks so much for coming in That's and right. talking about. Uh, <laughs> She's gone now, but the chair <laughs> remains. It's fine. Um, <laughs> And you're fucking this up. <laughs> I think if nothing else, the audience has a new appreciation for editing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. Yay! There you go. You got, you got recognised for the first time today twice, didn't you? That wasn't the first time. <laughs> it's literally the words you said to me. It's literally the words you fucking said to me. You, you dog son of a bitch. <laughs> It's what you fuck was standing right over there. You said, I got recognised for the first time today, you fucking piece of shit. How fucking dare you make a mockery of me like that? I'm sure. Fuck I... you! Uh, he didn't say for the first time. I, I, well, there were other people there. I... While I was backstage, uh, Michelle Brazier, who's uh, a friend of the show, Woo! she got real fanboyed out uh, by someone who's a big fan of Auntie Donna <coughs> film, uh, uh, stuff. And he was like, I loved you in Auntie Donna. And I was like, yeah, I've been in Auntie Donna too. <laughs> <laughs> I've done some stuff, you know. That's yeah. a great story. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 20... why am I the villain? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 2018 has really shaped up to be anything. <laughs> 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 How are you coming across as the villain, Ben? What, what are you doing? Uh, uh, where's my bait? Uh, uh, well, 2018 has really shaped up to be a massive year for games. Uh, in particular, Battle Royale has gone absolutely wild this year. Fortnite, PUBG, all of it, nuts. What do you, what do you take? What's, what's, but, but, uh, but also Battlefield and Call of Duty Black Ops have added it. What, what's your take on Battle Royale? Um, I, I eat them up. I love them. I, the PUBG is the you reason PUBG, why yeah. I uh, bought a, a PC. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. Because I, I loved it so much, and I just yeah, wanted wow. to play it. And I've 
I, I think I've put about 300, uh, no, 630 hours into that game. Really? And that's enough. <laughs> that's, um, um, it's time um, to commit yourself to Black Ops. Yes. <laughs> Which well, I have. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, you know, I, I had a, a wild love affair with uh, PUBG. Um, ne had never played anything like it before. Just how incredibly unforgiving that game was, I, re I, I really got into, as did my blood pressure. And... Um, <laughs> And then, you Made know, a lot, just yelled a lot. Made a lot of yelling and uh, a lot of, uh, you know, and, I, and then, you know, I've, I've, I've played uh, Ring of Elysium and, and really loved that. Uh, there's been a, there's been some bad ones like Fear of the Wolves or whatever that was. I thought that one yeah. was a bit rubbish. Um, but uh, the, the Blackout in Call of Duty is uh, fine. Um, I'm getting over it. Uh, but uh, I still think it's Battle a, Royale, you think? Or uh, I mean, just overall. personally, I th I'm, I'm just a bit tuckered out. Did you play Fortnite? You were saying on a show, um, Naomi, you were playing, you've played Fortnite a bit. Once. Once? <laughs> Great. Play, have you played PUBG? <laughs> have I played PUBG? That's, yep. Once? <laughs> you're true. I yep. hate it. I don't like it. Okay. What do you like about the Battle Royale? Um, how I always die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, that, I guess that's fair enough. I spend about 20 minutes hiding in a room <laughs> until someone just opens the door and shoots me that's in the face. Pretty, I think that's pretty much how it goes. You'd, you'd um, be surprised how much that is everyone's experience <laughs> of those games, except it's, Shroud. Do you think the... <laughs> Who the fuck is Shroud? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you, Hi, uh, my name is Ben Russell. I Hi. die a lot in Battle Royale games as well. Yeah, thank you. It feels so good to say it. Uh, I enjoyed... Actually, my favourite one of them is Black Ops f uh, 4. Do you Overall. think... Because it, it is a, a bit different, it's a bit, it's a bit more, more accessible. approachable. Yeah, do you think that's enough for it to sort of take a bite out of the, the Fortnite Battle Royale? Fortnite is so huge. Yeah. It freaks me out how yeah. huge it is. My favourite thing at PAX is the Fortnite dance stage. Did yeah. anyone yes. see that? <laughs> I did see and that. And it's just a bunch of eight-year-old kids going... <laughs> just dancing along with the characters. Fuck yeah. Dabbing. Yeah. I, uh, a lot of dabs. I did like this sort of workshop with high school students and like it was about sketch writing and all of their sketch writing was all Fortnite references. <laughs> and I was just like... Dudes, Fortnite sucks. <laughs> so like, probably it's a fucking baby's game. <laughs> yes, grow up. <laughs> and how did they respond to that? <laughs> With applause. It sucks. The, so and the fucking rubbish. And then the game. people at the crash were like, <laughs> I think you need to leave. <laughs> and they were like, get, get off of me. <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> so, I, f I figured no matter how good, um, I figured no matter how good, uh, You're me. Blackout <laughs> is, it's, it, That's funny. It's for, it's for a different market, right? Call of Duty Blackout. Blackout? To, yes, to Fortnite, right? It's Call of Duty Blackout. Blackout isn't going after the teenagers. It's what called Black Ops, the, the mode is called Blackout. I don't know, yes, Black, so, Black Ops is um, teenagers, for sure. But it's a, so it's surely it's a different kind of teenager to Fortnite. No, they still. Uh, Do you think it has has the has the mass appeal of which Fortnite? Teenager they still is which? Sl throw slurs at you like oh, nobody's yeah. business. <laughs> they still call you all those words that you're not supposed to say. I you're want like, you to separate the teenagers who are playing Fortnite from the ones playing COD. I feel like oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Got yourself into a hole there, didn't you? You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can do it. I, I, think, I think it's fair to say Fortnite probably skews a, a tad younger. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Yeah. I, it, feel, it feels like it's probably cool, like it's more cool than Call of Duty, right? Fortnite. Is that because you play Call of Duty? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Fortnite's know if we're here to define cool. <laughs> no, um, yeah, that's, that's why I was going to stay out of it. It's a bad litmus test. <laughs> um, I got a piece so bad. <laughs> Should I just cool. go? Should you go? Don't, don't no, leave don't, now. Can't go. Okay. There won't be any women on the show then. Oh, there won't be any women on the show. I just got to make you look good, don't I? <laughs> At my own peril, Evan. I think. I think go. <laughs> do you, do you need to go to the toilet. I think that's an important thing to do. What are we applauding?
supporting her for? We can fuck around until she gets, uh, until she gets okay. back. She won't be... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Xaviorina Michaelidi. <laughs> Um, the, Fuck um, everyone. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we got it. We <laughs> hey! Kate! 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 <laughs> no, we don't need you. Well, not yet. <laughs> We're running a bit over time. Um, what am I supposed to do? Just, just hang out for a minute. Where? You'll be. Any, any, just take it. Take a seat. Just enjoy the show. Any, no, just uh, if it is. <laughs> you can stand there if you like. But we can't hear you. You haven't got a microphone. You need to introduce this segment. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't. We only just started the previous We season. haven't even started it. I did introduce it. You oh, coughed yeah, part way through my introduction. <laughs> it's a battle royale bit. Oh, we're, cool. We're, we're talking a little bit about battle royale. Yeah, cool. We probably should crack on with it. Mm. One more one more thing about battle royale. Right. Battlefield. <laughs> Naomi. Hang on. It's Naomi Mahagan. I was feeling in... This is my, this is my culture. <laughs> <laughs> This is going great. I'm so sorry. Battlefield Five. They've they've announced that the uh, the battle royale mode of that. Will oh, we're be... still talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not what happened while you were gone. You didn't really miss much. <laughs> it's been delayed till uh, March next year. Yeah. You, do you think everyone will be over it by then? You said you're getting over battle royale a bit. No, uh, like. No. I mean, I don't oh, okay. Think so. I don't Something think so. ridiculous. Like what is it? Like a hundred million people? More than that? Like yeah. what is it, two hundred? Like. It's probably a, it's, it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's more people than are here. Way more. Yes. Way more. I mean, a fad like that. There's going to be people playing Fortnite and forever. I think it's a. It's not just a fad. It's here to stay. Probably, yeah. The baby's game is here forever. How long's he been here? <laughs> oh, it's the ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> There's seats, you can take a seat. What? Someone will stand here. Uh... <laughs> That's a sure. What do you reckon, Zet? Uh, what do you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon, Evan? What are you going to say? What are your thoughts? What do you think? You talk about it. Hey! You say. What? What do you reckon? Battle Royale. Battle Royale. What do you think? I don't... I'm not a fan. You know what? I'm not a fan, really. What about Black Ops? You it play Black stresses Ops? me out. But you play Black Ops. I, f I play Blackout. You play Blackout? What stresses you more? Black Ops, uh, uh, Blackout, or being in social situations? I think being in social situations. Yeah, see, not too bad. At least you can shoot people in Blackout. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I want to shoot people. <laughs> Yes. That was your first joke. <laughs> oh man. All right. <laughs> Should we talk about the rest of this stuff? I don't know if we've got time. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. I know. Everyone's got somewhere to be. I, I'm a businessman. Yeah. And by businessman, I mean I need to play cowboys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should crack on. What were you going to talk about? We were going to talk about. Well, I mean, the, the other you know things that are relevant to the year, things like developer crunch, which has been uh, talked about a fair bit in the last couple of weeks because of Red Dead Redemption. Now I don't want to. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that this is a little like I don't want to workers' rights communism. Yay. But it oh, feels a little like drum up, doesn't it? Like press, like there's not enough media, there's not enough gamer news <laughs> at the moment. Everyone was just waiting for RDR, like everything was all rock star. Yeah. And so the press got wind of this little hint and was like, oh, rock star are the devil. <laughs> they just kind of were like, oh, let's run. But it, it feels like it's not news and it's like you're yeah. under a deadline. And 
Do you, know you work I mean? for the like, Liberal Party? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I know that the, the problem is that the gaming industry is quite fucked with workers' rights and stuff like that, but... It doesn't have to be, though. Do you think no. people should suffer for our games? Well, I think that as long as the deadline is... I mean, that's a, this is a publishing issue. This isn't my fault. Right, like it's a manager. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I have a friend that works at Rockstar North oh, who yeah? is uh, really? an animator. Um, uh, and worked on, has been working on Red Dead for quite a while. He did a very big Facebook post uh, about it, talking about his take on it. Mm -hmm. And he was basically saying, um, get fucked, Rockstar are amazing. Like, they've always looked after A me. lot of the feedback, had, like, afterwards, like, it was all, ah, evil, and then and then Rockstar lifted the social media ban that they have for their employees, which is a little mm -hmm. bit... Um, and generally, the, the feeling coming out of that was that most people were pretty happy with their work yeah yeah i mean that's i mean this is just uh, one one lots voice. of posts like that but he was very much things. like yeah. rockstar are the best company they've always looked after me they've always given me the time off that i've needed even during red dead and stuff and so uh i'm over <laughs> someone who works at rockstar pedestrian tv someone who works <laughs> at rockstar pedestrian tv yeah it feels like major drummer <clears throat> hello i'm major drummer <laughs> <laughs> What a, what, a, uh, <laughs> what a character. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else you got for us in those little sack of goodies? That's, look, we we're going to talk, we talk a little bit about microtransactions, which is not, which, but the point being... Don't get Ben started. But, but the point being that since Battlefront 2, <coughs> that big hubbub, it's become less of a... It, it feels like it's become less of an issue, that there's been more of a focus on making them... Just cosmetic rather yeah, than what happened to, to Battlefront 2? It kind of just no, does anyone play it? Does anyone play it? <laughs> Anybody? No. Someone? Bit, yeah. got someone? That doesn't count. Eh, doesn't One guy count. Kind of. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're all no, waiting for Obi Wan. It. It, it definitely suffered, right? Yeah. Like it, it was. It oh was yeah, good. Done. I mean, I, I pre-ordered the, the game. Oh, well, we, and, yes. Yeah, like I had a whole thing about. It. I haven't I haven't touched it since just because it was all it was like. Yeah, I don't know, I left a sour taste in my mouth. To be honest, I think this is one of the great, like, this is the one thing that the gaming, what you can call a community, it's just a, it's just people that like games. Uh, but it's like the one thing that Sometimes they've done that's good. it feels like a gang. Yeah, I feel like it's like the one good thing it's, it's done. The good thing that's come out of outrage culture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, lots of good things have happened. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's great. It's in in it's been uh, I think uh, positive in some ways because it's yeah. scared these these big companies off from um, you know doing stupid shit. I, like yeah, that. I just feel like EA in general has kind of well, I mean, Star Wars like they're kind of lost in terms of what they do with Star Wars as a gaming thing now. Everything's yeah. gotten cancelled in terms of the games. There, it's just like where and then you've got the best thing you have is Battlefront Two. It's like. What happened? And that's all of Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, even the movie. It's, a, it's in a weird place, Star Wars. I'm it's in bored. a weird place. Okay. It's, <laughs> let's push on. We're not going to talk about Star Wars. Um, it, so it's been a bit, really big year for, uh, for, for, for games already. And it's only October. That's, that's pretty, most the, of the year. Late. Pretty late in the it's year. It's the end of pretty October. Late. That's okay. a pretty late year. <laughs> it's like, it's... All right, it's almost November. Anyway, look, but there's still so much more to come before the end of the year, uh, and so to talk us through it, we're excited to be joined by the one and only Dave Callan. <laughs> you have a microphone, yes. Excellent news. Oh, hello. I've hello. been playing the Cowboys also. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. It's quite good. You know, a lot of people complaining about the installation. All the it's huge, right? It's in. like, what is it, 100 gig or something? It's like 87 and a 3 gig download patch. Yeah, yeah right. So, uh, but then in, in my day, just so you guys know, <laughs> we had to load games off cassette. Cassette. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I don't know why you're clapping. You uh, don't look like you've ever seen a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when and, and the download the day one download patch would take 17 days to download <laughs> you remember when you had games and like the one little disc came in like a box this big <laughs> you know like yeah i got a new game <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. game <laughs> <laughs> no that was fun <laughs> yeah, that's a good little act out 
Yeah. Um, Thank you. I'm excellent yeah. at mine. Hey, what would it be like if renowned uh, thespian <laughs> and knight, sir? Uh, the guy, the guy who played the butler in the Batman okay. one. Yes, thank you. Was uh, opening a, a big game with a small game in it. Uh, I played my favourite game, <laughs> Twinson's Odyssey. I'm going to. It's a big. Oh, look at this box. It's a big box. And it's a small desk. <laughs> Um, so Red, Red Dead is already out, but there's, yes. there's still some really big titles still to come. So right. yeah. Hitman 2 is one of them? Hitman 2 is one of them, and uh, I've ordered the special edition that comes with a free rubber duck. Oh, I, I've... Oh, yeah. Oh, really? What? You've got a rubber duck already? Yeah, you want it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking want it. <laughs> yeah. It's got Sean oh, Bean in it. It's not yellow. I got that. Do you know how I got this? How did you get that? I threw muffins at ducks. <laughs> that would have been a prize. A, what would it be like if Renan... I had five a muffins, YouTube? I had to hit three ducks and I did it. What would it be like if Sir Michael Caine threw... <laughs> uh, ra rabbits and a duck, was it? What was it? Muffins. Muffins, muffins and not a rabbits. Duck. Do the thing! <laughs> Do your party trick. I'm going to throw this muffin at a duck. <laughs> No, no, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Great. Hey, before, um, before I'm get... contractually obliged to do <laughs> if you're anything asked. he says. Uh, did you play the first one? Did you did you play the, the yeah. last one by Square? Yeah. Enix? Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the way they went season by season with mm. that one, mm. and um, there were some great missions. Really, really, uh, you know, open-ended kind of ways you could uh, complete them, and, and I, I found it really good. I enjoyed it. Is you're a big it... stealth fan. It was a very I good like game. Oh, yeah, I loved it. Mm. You look like I, a giant sitting it. at this desk. I, I am a giant sitting at this desk. I feel like just for the for that Hitman reboot, the la the first mm. one, which mm. was really like what is it, the sixth one or whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. um, they got the tone right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of got a nice balance of like brutality and also that kind of weird silliness. Uh, in this one, I'd like to see. That's pretty uh, much me. <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> I'd like to see the characters not all talk like, hey, I'm in Morocco. <laughs> hey, I'm, dude. I'm very interested to see, because I played the demo at, at, at PAX that they had, and it was a very early demo, but it just it didn't feel like a, like a big step forward. It just felt like an extra level on the, on the first game. So, right. But yeah. I'm, interest, I'm interested to see what the second one's going to be, because I, yeah. I love the first one so much, but I was like, I think I'd just play the first one again rather than spend 100 bucks. Why yeah. are we talking about games? <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, exactly. I thought this was the Iranian Film Festival. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening down the, down the hall? Oh. Um, what so, about that's the joke. <laughs> Uh, people, yes. people watching this don't know that necessarily. It could just be a crazy non sequitur that they've said. <laughs> it looks I'm like explaining you. that that's going on down the hall. Oh yes, people thank you. Yeah, people, at home. That's a good point. People it was really good. Is he just racist? What, what did he, <laughs> why did he name drop Iranians? Uh, Fallout because 76. You guys, them. you guys looking forward to playing some some more Fallout? 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 Thor out. What? My name is Thor out. What's Thor? Imagine a PSVR game called Thor out. You've just got a blowtorch and like an ice block. And you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Thor it out. That'd be amazing. I'm going to get three copies. Right. Yeah. All right. Can I, before we talk about the new games coming out, because all the good games are already out. Do you know this? All of them? This year, all of the new, all yeah. of the good games are out now already, except maybe maybe just cause four, which for a change is set in a fictional South American country. South America, did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. South American? Thank yeah. you. You got, the you got the pronunciation correct. Oh, good, okay. Um, is that all? I gotta read out these questions. Oh, right, questions okay. That have been written by people about Red Dead Redemption, oh, Redemption sure. 2. The Cowboys. Okay, here's the Cowboys, yes. yes. Um, does this game provide the ability to choke a few chickens? Good question. Not fuck? as good as. Exactly. Will I need to buy a real horse to play this game? <laughs> what, is, I... what are you doing? <laughs> Where are these questions going These are from? questions people asked about Red Dead Redem Where? Redemption Where? We 2. need context. On the in there's a thing called the internet. All right. And Can you fire it up on your phone. 
Yeah. Or computer. <laughs> Will I be able to craft sausages if I kill the right animals? <laughs> yes, that's a fair question. That's a valid question. Yeah. And, collect the, and collect the recipe. They've spelled it wrong. Anyway. The recipe? Good to know. Or receipt? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't recipe. think you need a receipt if you're making your own sausages. <laughs> Maybe you do. I, I Always read... keep your receipt if you're making, if you're making your own sausages. <laughs> that's 101, you can text, guys. You can text it like that shit. I have heard that your horse poos. Is this an auto poo? <laughs> if not, which button do you push for manual poo? I agree. Do you auto poo or manual poo? Manual. I have to push a button. Yeah. You're... How old are you now? 70. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. I auto poo. Is I'm Clint right Eastwood now. in this? Anyway, mm. maybe one more. Oh yeah? Let's get... It's getting long in the tooth, this segment. <laughs> a bit like my age. <laughs> you fucker. Oh, Manual we live? Okay. I'm going to the Iranian Film Festival. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, here's one last question. It is... Uh, I can't... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? Here, oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I got a chance to play Battlefield 5 today. At Did you? Yeah, that oh. was pretty fun. Yeah. Is that all? Like... <laughs> that was, that was... Do you have any other words? <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I also played the, the beta on PC. I, I played it on um, Xbox at PAX, and that was. I wouldn't. I, I didn't think I'd really enjoy it. I don't really like playing first person shooters on consoles. But I found it pretty, like, surprisingly easy to just pick up and play. Is this one in World War II? Yes. Is it. Does it really ruin the game that there are women in it? Is it just totally ruined it? I found it? it so distracting. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> never mind World War One, where they had automatic weapons. <laughs> this is the last straw. Does it ruin the game? <laughs> Thank you. And a, an applause for Ben's feminism, yeah. I think, please. Thank you so much. Does it ruin the game that you already know who wins? <laughs> <laughs> More Nazis. <laughs> More games about Nazis, please. Mm. Well, they're kind of, you can't ever, you don't ever like kill a Nazi and be like, oh. <laughs> You're like, what? I want to kill more Nazis. Yeah. You know, sorry if that offends you, Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Someone made a sad sound. Someone was like, oh. oh. oh leave the Nazis alone. <laughs> Poor what? Nazi. <laughs> what would it be like if Renan Thespian and Knight yeah. so <laughs> Michael Caine felt bad for killing a Nazi? I accidentally killed a Nazi the other day. And I please apologize if I offended anybody <laughs> while I did it. I'm not okay. <laughs> um, you are a company, you wanna leave. But how much is the, the how much of this is gonna make it what to the edit? <laughs> Uh, most of it, I'd say. I think it's been fun. You know, um... <laughs> I reckon don't you think? three of it. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing is this, the, there's no... It doesn't... It, nothing matters on... Mm. Amen! <laughs> yeah, nihilism! This is not... No, this is not massively unusual yeah, for what the show gonna, normally is. We're gonna die These, pe these guys aren't surprised that, that the show is going... I think that uh, the edit makes it seem like it's a little bit less of a... Clusterfuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Don't you agree? No. They no. haven't. No, they get it. They get it. I stand corrected. They haven't, they haven't seen. <laughs> they don't know how bad it is in the room. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah, Naomi does. Real bad farts. <laughs> um, Farming Simulator 19 comes out on the same day as Battlefield 5. <laughs> <laughs> Number what? Nine. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nine. Oh, that's a year. Uh, yeah. In this one, <laughs> the bad guys are Coles. You fight against Coles. You gotta shoot. You gotta shoot Coles employees and Woolworths employees. And you're like, stop gouging, taking down the milk farmers. So, what about the bread? <laughs> So Farming Simulator, it's a first-person shooter. Yeah, it's a first-person shooter. 
There's just Coles and Woolies and they're coming at you and you're like, no! Um, <laughs> Bob Catter pops in, he's like, you're right, mate. <laughs> and then a uh, bloody crocodile comes and mauls you. And he's like, I bloody told you. Nobody, listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Naomi, you have a switch. Are you looking forward to it? There's still like um, Pokemon Let's Go is, is coming out. <laughs> people are keen for Pokemon Let's Go. Um, and Super Smash hey, Brothers Ultimate is also coming out for Switch uh, soon, very soon. None of that interests me. <laughs> <laughs> not Pokemon? Not Pokemon? No, you're not going to get Pokemon? Are you applauding my disinterest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I thought you. I thought you would like Pokemon. No. What's that supposed to mean? I just like huh? Pokemon Go because it got me out of the house once. <laughs> <laughs> just once. <laughs> I'm excited for Spyro. Oh, yeah. Spyro! One girl in the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Katamari Damacy. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You, um, you play as a ball, right? You're a ball. You roll over stuff. You're a bigger ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, cool. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Things stick to you, that sort of thing. And also, um, there's something here called Dream Daddy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> Dream Daddy is a fun game. Uh, uh, Dave, what else are you looking forward to for the rest Dream, of the day? Dream Daddy. Uh, of course, <laughs> yes. It's a game. release. It's the Dad Rector's Cut. Uh, that's actually that's true. Gross. It's a play on words, you see, because it's directors but dad, and they combine the. Can words. you explain this? Is a Rex in there too? Is that was that? If you uh, or is that just hard me? <laughs> he had one joke, and now he's feeling a little bit cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay in my lane. Put it away, Evan. Oh. <laughs> Is anyone excited about Fallout 76? Yeah. That's two people. Same girl. <laughs> I mean, granted, when a publisher comes out and says, I'm sorry, before the game has even start, been released. Oh, did they apologise that there was nothing to do in the, in the, in the beta? Is yeah, they, apologize, they were like, we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. How did, they, how did they go again? We're sorry. Yeah. What would it have been like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, no! You said you're. You Take said, a stand, Ben. This is your time. You can't let him walk over. You. <laughs> Are you giving yourself a pep talk in the middle? Of <laughs> yes, <it>? I am. <laughs> you said you were excited for Just Cause Four as well. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think they could mix it up a bit because the, you know, it's, it's set in a fictional South American country again. <laughs> so is this for a the I don't um, understand. Is sorry. this a little stab that Not you're racist. taking? Is this anything like Just Dance? <laughs> oh, that'd be the best. That'd be the best. Just like, just Rico Rodriguez just dancing to Despacito. That'd, that'd be fantastic. I would buy the heck out of that. Just Dance 2019's coming out. That's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Will it? <laughs> yes! Dancing is fun, Ben. I think those games... <laughs> you've, never, you've never seen me dance. <laughs> it's terrifying. It is. <laughs> if you like dancing in games, it'll be good. <laughs> um, I, I quite liked them when they first came out, but I think they peaked for about a month in 2007. Alright. Which month? Tuesday. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to what Both. they do with uh, FIFA 20. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, and with FIFA, you know, like, will there still be FIFA in it? Will there be soccer? <laughs> will there be soccer? Maybe they'll mix it up that much. what we're going to do. Um, is there going to be Battle Royale? Probably. It's just like a soccer pitch and it just gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh, I found the other question. About Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, right. Um, yep. Is this suitable for a two-year-old's birthday party? <laughs> she likes horses and I've heard there's some in it. <laughs> Do with that what you will. Uh, oh, I am. There's a game called uh, Lego Harry Potter Collection. Oh, yeah. um, so, like, imagine, Le you know Lego, right? Yeah. Yes. And no. you know Harry Potter. Yes. Yeah. And you know mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Well, it's just all of that combined. Yeah, right. That sounds like a hit. Yeah. Um, I just reminded me, I was playing Red Dead this morning, and there is a, there's a mo like, you've got a storm, like, you're attacking a cabin. What, what, and I just went in with my knife <laughs> and just stabbed everyone, and I didn't die. I was like, surely I'm going to die. No. 
you just stabbed everyone. <laughs> well, really? With your knife. You, you can should, do that. You should, like, unlock a Michael Myers mask <laughs> when, you, when you achieve that. And then, uh, one of those, I was in the, I was in the bar. And uh, you press R2 to take a shot. Yeah, we've all got stuff going on. And, I, <laughs> and, I, and R2 is also like hip firing as well. Wait a minute, R2 is in the game. Is C- <laughs> C3PO in, in the game as well? Yes, and <laughs> it is a Star Wars game. What about renowned thespian and knight, <laughs> Sir Michael Caine? <laughs> <laughs> It's God! Uh, <laughs> um, and anyway, I, sh- I shot the bartender in the chest three times. <laughs> Talk about shots, am I right? Well done, well done. And then I just, I'm not scum saving at all in this, so I just had to run away. <laughs> that's it. End of story. Evan, close story. the show. <laughs> all right. That's, 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 um, that's it, right? That's enough of the... That's your call. Yeah. There's no other good games. I've had enough. All right. <laughs> well, Super Smash Brothers! What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. that'll be that fun. Exactly Holy fuck! Right? We've got, got a chance to play that. I think that's my the, the, the only one that I'm like, ja- big boy. Are you good at it? No! I'm terrible. Hey. Ooh, he's a sneak. He can play Kirby really well. That's Everyone can yeah. play Kirby really well. <laughs> I don't understand how Kirby's so overpowered when he's basically a ball bag. <laughs> it's just very, yeah, very taut. You don't see my ball bag. <laughs> I wish, I wish my balls looked like that. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be rich. Uh, Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Show people my balls. I go fucking take my money. <laughs> That's how I imagine the world should be. I will, I Wait. Will, so will. you show people your balls and they, they make it rain? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. I <laughs> 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 gotta get them a bit tauter. I will pay. I will pay for balls. Put that hand down. I will pay for balls. I will pay for balls. <laughs> Speaking of balls, sadly, it's time to wrap up the show. <laughs> yes, sadly, it's time to wrap up the show. Uh, I just got here. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you very much. Does it make a noise? But, what? A little bit. But, before, hmm? but before we say goodbye, uh, I do need to thank our amazing Patreon supporters, and many of them might be here. Yeah. How's that for a sentence? Many of them might be here. Give them a chance to say woo. Yeah. Woo. Did I? I did that. Yeah, get them no, to like bloody the one person. Who's here from Patreon? Yeah. Woo! Get Just a shot of them. Let, get them say hi. <coughs> Unless they don't want to. Get a close up. I don't have time for this. Okay, sorry. We have time. But, we need to go. but I'm going to name them individually. Okay. Lachlan Chapman, <laughs> Cameron McGuire, Ben hey, Lovett. You if you can put your what? They're putting their hands up. This is a nightmare. And you'll be getting your photo sets from from Ben of erotic Waluigi. (laughs) Stop promising that. I'm a gonna eat you. Chris Shiki, Josh Apter, Shannon Twidgeratney, Alex Chom, Christian Sanchez! So good to say. That's great. He's never going to stop supporting us because he just gets to hear that every week. Um, Adam Jim Batista, Jake Robertson, and Paul Barbie. Woo! All right. Uh, also, uh, massive thanks to Melbourne International Games League for letting us be a part of the festivities. Uh, and also, big thanks to Acme for having us here in this amazing menu. Thanks, Acme. Thank you, Acme. Um, that's it. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Da 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 da